going on everyone, it's here again and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon MMO playthrough. Last episode we went and beat Koga and got that gym done. This episode we are going to be making our way down to Cinnabar Island where hopefully we don't, you know, get rampaged by tentacles on the way there. Ah, we're going to get rampaged by tentacles the whole way there, I can tell. I can tell it's going to happen. It's just going to happen. It's inevitable at this point. We're going to get rampaged by tentacles. Come on. Ah! Just go away! With any luck, maybe we find a shiny. If we find a shiny, then all of a sudden I'm sitting there rearranging my entire party. And I, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna take out this tentacle actually, because it's a level 34. I'm super effective against it, and whatever XP it gives me, I'm gonna level up Venomoth. So. Hit him with this psychic. There you go. And now we're gonna hit level 34 with Venomoth. So Venomoth's catching up to everybody already. Just, just, took, just took a 40 minute episode of power training, is all. Is it is this a doubles battle? If this is a doubles battle up here, I'm very interested. But if it's two individuals, I'm gonna be very very upset. God. Seriously, go away! Oh, I'm so happy I don't zoom in on wild battles. <laughs> Jeez, it's ridiculous. Hello, my sis does my sis doesn't get enough exercise, so I make her come. Giggity. <laughs> Ah, oh, you guys are perverts. It's a double battle, though. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, Starmie and a Seedra, both level 33. I'm rocking the Venomoth and the Vaporeon. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to hit that Psychic on the Starmie, because Starmie's a big beast. And then we're also going to use uh, Aurora Beam on Starmie, because, you know, Starmie's a big beast, and Vaporeon's not confused. Hit him with that Psychic. Probably didn't do a lot. Street Seedra rocks a Leer. I love double battles, they're so much more interesting. Alright. Yeah, apparently Leer works on everybody. Vaporeon's confused, still uses Aurora Beam. Hits up that Starmie, doesn't do a whole lot, alright. So let's, uh, we're gonna try and confuse Starmie, and then we're gonna try, I don't know, we're gonna fight Starmie. Cause if Star yeah, if Starmie, if, Storm if Starmie is part Psychic, then this is gonna hurt him good. It is! Oh, Stormy's going down. All right, so we're gonna hit this. We're gonna hit this gust on Cedra, and then we're gonna do a quick attack on Stormy. So that should knock out Stormy. Yep, down goes Stormy. And some decent XP for the both of you. There you go. And we're gonna hit that gust. All right, gust didn't do a whole lot. Oh no, not water again. Anything but that. To psychic on him, and we're gonna go and hit. I don't know an Aurora Beam on him. Psychic almost takes him down. He rocks a smoke screen to reduce my accuracy. He's probably gonna do it to both. Nope, it only did it to him, huh? Alright, now I'm gonna see with the Aurora Beam and 548 XP for the both of us. I don't know, I like double battles. It's cool to have both Pokemon sitting right there. It's neat. I like it a lot. We need to keep on surfing though. Wee! Ah goodness! Give away tentacues! Tentacues! The thing about getting that, uh, in last episode we saw a guy that had a shiny Tentacruel. And the thing about that is, if I had to pick Pokemon that are easy to get shiny, it would be Ghastly, Paris, and Tentacool. Because there, because you can basically get unlimited Ghastlies at the Pokemon Tower. If you go to the like first floor of Mount Moon, the only Paris is, like the little Paris Pokemon. Th those are the only Pokemon that like spawn there. And down here in the ocean area, the only Pokemon you're gonna find are these freaking tentacles, <laughs> right? So they're probably the easiest ones to get to show up. Now, like a rare, like a, like a shiny Magmar, that would take forever, because you know Magmars don't even pop up half the time. And then when they do, the chances of them actually becoming, yeah, shiny is pretty pretty low. But welcome to Cinnabar Island, ladies and gentlemen. The door is locked. We cannot get in there as of right yet. And for us to do that, we need to go into the Pokemon Mansion. Have you guys been to the Pokemon Mansion? It's it, it's it's awful. <laughs> it is. It's so bad. Okay, but we need. I need to switch out my PC real quick. Which one of you freaking Mankeys is the one that I taught strength to? Okay, so I adjusted this last time I was here, and I I never changed the overlay for it. But that's okay. Cause I don't like changing the overlay. <laughs> it takes a very long time. I wanted to get uh, Mankey who knows strength back. I want to get Primate back. 
But for the sake of being, I don't know, for the sake of just doing anything, I guess we should head on in here and turn our fossil into a Pokemon. Hiya, I'm an important doctor. Yes, very much so indeed. Here, I study rare Pokemon fossils all the time. I study. You? you have a fossil for me? Oh, yes, that's the Helix fossil. It is It is a fossil of Omnimite, a Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again. And so hurry, give me that. And I hand it over and just go for a little walk and I come back and it'll be here. Which, I don't really want it. But I'll still go grab it for the sake of grabbing it. We need to head to the freaking Pokemon thing though. And if I remember correctly, I hate this place. <laughs> if I remember correctly, this place is full of coughing after coughing after coughing after coughing. And that guy's got a shiny freaking Marowak. Or a Cubone, I can't tell which one it is. Freaking Raticate going. Go away, Ricky. Right here. Oh, he was right here! He had shiny Marowak! We couldn't even see it that long because of the big freaking jerk stain. Radicate. Oh, goodness. All the freaking battles. Oh, Growlithe! Oh, my mind is so cute! It's such a cute little Growlithe. No, go away. No, no, no. Stop. There. Such a cute little Growlithe. Such a cute little fella. I'm gonna walk around and grab all these Pokeballs. Found an escape rope. Dun, 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 dun. We hit these things, and they're secret switches. They open, they rearrange like what doors are open and which doors aren't. And to be honest, I don't even like fully understand. Like I don't have like an exact way through here. Like in my memory, I just kind of wing it every single time I come in. Jesus Christ, me! I took one step. <sighs> we are gonna get pounced upon by every single freaking Pokemon. I think we're clear. I feel like I'm playing Secret Agent Man. Ooh, a protein. I feel like I'm playing Secret Agent Man just trying to like simply make my way around here without running into Pokemon. Like, this is ridiculous. I think we need to make our way down to the basement. The basement is where the key is. The key allows us to get into the gym. Basically, you know, uh, Koga in the last episode, they're sitting there like, oh yeah, we're the, uh, such a, are you confused by our invisible walls? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is actually one of the easier gems to figure out, to be honest. What do we got here? Zinc. Oh, yeah, I think this place gives you a ton of this stuff, which is just widely beneficial for everything, like zincs and proteins and calciums and all the good stuff, the good stuff. Ah, there's a Pokeball over there. You guys can't see it, but I'm on my way to it. Assuming, of course, this freaking Raticate gets out of the way. Raticate's a big beast. My oh, come on! Just because you're a higher level, you gotta be a jerk stain, huh? Alright, you asked for it. Let's hit that stun spore up. And I miss it, of course. Venomoth, you need to be more consistent. You need to be a lot more consistent. Hit that stun spore up now, Venomoth. Venomoth. Now he's paralyzed. Now let's hit that supersonic up, Venomoth. And of course, you gotta miss that three or four times before you can hit it, too. Venomoth, looking at you. There you go. Now he's confused, now he's paralyzed, now he's hurting himself in his confusion. Now I'm hit up this psychic. Ah, that quick attack. It was a critical hit too. And he knocks me out with a critical hit. Awesome. Um, let's get Primate out. Primate's actually one of the lowest levels we got. Oh, Primate's actually super effective against this. This karate chop I like, honestly maybe knock it out. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we're gonna put Primate out. Primate will be behind us from now on. Primate will be the one taking on the battles for right now. Because he's Primeape. Primeape's a beast. Wait, no. Do I have Mankey or Prime? No, I put Mankey up in front. I hate having both of you guys in the same thing. I hate my life. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I hate everything about it. Alright, do you feel, you feel tough now, you cute little Vulpix? I think so. No one's going to be tough with Big Bad Primeape behind us. There. Big Bad Primeape. I accidentally put the Mankey out. The Mankey's in our party just so we can use strength. Now I, and now I have to like teach it to like a good Pokemon. I'm tired of running away from things. Ooh, a calcium. Dude, it's worth it to grab like Jesus Christ I can't take this. I really can't. Do we have repels? Are repels a thing? I can get those, right? Wait. I have a cleanse tag, don't I? Cleanse tag, cleanse tag. 
An item held by a Pokemon. It repels wild Pokemon if the holder is first in the party. Alright, give. Primeape. You're first in the party, Primeape. It's better make it so no snuff shows up. And it still shows up! I think if they're a higher level. Okay, that's 32. It's not a higher level. And it won't let me... This is why. This is why. I When I did Pokemon... I did a, a playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red on my Let's Play channel. Entire playthrough. And I might have even named this like the most annoying episode ever. Because I was here. And I hate this place. It's... You know what? You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Screw this. I'm done. I'm done. And I'm going to still find another freaking probably... Oh, I hate these rats. I hate them. I am going to spend whatever money I have, which probably isn't a lot, and I am going to purchase all repels. And we're going to use repels for days. And they better work. They better work. Max repels. How many of you pimps can I buy? I have enough money for 11 of, or 10 of them. All right, so now I'm gonna go in here real quick. Where's my repels? Where's my repels? Where's my repels? Max repel. We are going to hotkey the max repel. So I don't even have to open up my freaking thing, man. Wait, while I'm here, I might as well heal Venomoth, right? We're already out here. Might as well not waste a freaking potion and a revive when it takes literally three seconds to do that. All right. Now, we have Big Bad Primate. The door is locked. I, I, I know that. I was just trying to drive past. Oh wait, I didn't use Repel yet. I was about to freak out. <laughs> it's a Grimer though. At least it's something different looking. I better be able to run away. There we go. Alright, so I just I just hit Repel. I just hit it. Repel is being used. And it seems to be working. I sure hope it's working. Ooh. Well, this floor is kind of worthless, ain't it? Max Potion. Oh my god, these Repels are working wonders. Oh my goodness. Ah, sweet niblets. This is so fantastic. Alright, I need to go hit up this light, or this switch right here. Alright, I think that opens up this door over here. Yes, it did. And there's stairs here? Yes, there is. Yeah, I'm figuring this place out pretty good, ain't I? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a smart guy. Hey, here's an extra Pokeball over here. And then we need to go back and hit that Mew we need to go back and hit that Mewtwo statue iron, even. When you hit that statue again, so we open up this door below us. This place is so awesome if you have repels. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. I kind of want to face this guy for the sake of facing him. We haven't had, we haven't had a legitimate battle yet. Uh, except for like wild Pokemon, so let's take him on. Dun, dun, dun. Scientist Braden. Big bad guy, I'm sure. Big tough man. Let's him with that cry chop with your Magnemites. Super effective, is it? Oh, One hit knockout. Aww. Ooh, Magneton. Now this might not be a one hit knockout. This might be a two hit knockout. Maybe. Ooh, critical hit. Super effective. And one hit knockout. Look at all this XP for you, Primate. Look at you. About to hit level 35, taking out this Voltorb, assuming, of course, it doesn't use self-destruct. Nah, that would have been knocked out. One. Oh, look at all the critical hits! Freaking Primate's on a critical hit rampage right now. I like it. Level 35. Ain't what, what? What is Cross Chop per se? I, ooh, 100 damage. A bow is hit with double chops. It has a high critical hit. This seems like a good move. I'm gonna get rid of Rage for it because Rage sucks. We'll try Cross Chop out. It's only 80% accurate though, so we will have to see. We have to see how that goes. What is this here? Where do these stairs go? I don't know. I never even noticed them before. Ooh, they go down here and they grab this here Pokeball. And it's an HP up, man. We're getting all the good stuff here. At least they give you good stuff for being the most annoying place in the game. At least they give you good stuff. And I think now is the part where we YOLO into the basement. Wee! Nope, no Pokeballs up there. Or statues for that. Wait a minute, I'm on the first floor, aren't I? And apparently my repel is wore off. I'm on the first floor. This is bullcrap. Wait, I can sprint. Why have I not been? You have used repel potion. I like how it shows up the bottom of the screen for me. 
That sucks. I fell down the wrong place completely. I fell all the way back down to the first floor. Wait. Yeah. Alright, yeah. I was confused for a moment. Never mind that. You guys saw nothing. Maybe if I jump from a different angle. Ha ha! Yes. This has worked. That's worked. Ah! What? I just used repel! I... I, 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 am, I am repelling. Ah, so you're level 36, so all of a sudden you're so powerful that we have to go up against you, huh? Well, I have a cross shop, and it's super effective. It knocks you out in one hat. Yeah, see? Eh? Alright, let's go grab whatever this is. That door takes us back outside. We don't want to go out there just yet. We want to go down here. Yes, this is exactly where we want to be, actually. This is the basement. It's not burned out. It's nice and pretty still. Secret switch. And now I know what that secret switch did to be on. Oh, wait, I think it opened this door over there. Let's grab full restore. Not too bad. I think it opened up. Yep, this door over yonder. And if this door over yonder is open, let's face this guy. We're not facing enough people this episode. <laughs> Repel's effect wore off. It showed up at the bottom of the screen for me. I only know if wild Pokemon show up down here. I don't want to find out. Here comes your Magnemate. Well, here comes Primeape, and Primeape's gonna use them Kawaii Chops. And he's gonna take out that stupid Magnemite. Magnemite's actually not all that bad. Magnemite's actually kinda cute. Now, Electrode, I always thought was just goofy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. When I look at Electrode, let's, let's try that crop. You would use self destruct. You honestly would. You honestly, honestly would. <sighs> Scientist one. Alright, well, we're going to put Venomoth back out, since he's all nice and knocked out. Hi, Venomoth. I'm going to grab whatever this is. Now i got, now I got to hit this switch over here to our right. TM-14. Actually, I want to check what that is real quick. TM-14 would be... Blizzard. It does lots of damage But it's very inaccurate We got rid of Quick attack I don't know why I'm singing a song with that. But yeah, Vaporeon now knows Blizzard and Quick Attack. Or Blizzard and Aurora Beam and Surf and Bite. It's a pretty good combination, I'd say. And no, running away from you. Di di I've used Repel Potion. Alright, there better not be any more freaking Pokemon popping up. Turn that bad boy on. It opens up this door over yonder. There's a Pokeball up here on this table. Hello, secret key. That's how we get into the gym. And then here is TM22, which, what would TM22 be? I don't know. TM22 is Solar Beam. And Venomoth can learn it. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. I like the Stuns 4 Super Sonic combination. I, I really do. Hmm. And Gust is also beneficial. Hmm. Wait, can, we can before we do before we even try that, can Venomoth learn fly now that I think about it? If he can, that's a lot better of a flying move than Gust. Nah, you can't learn it. Your Gust is a good one. I like Gust. I also like Stealth Spore. Oh that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. I really i I'm really not positive as to what I want to do. It's a big old beastly move too. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna Oh dude, that's what Supersonic is only hits fifty five percent of the time. We're getting rid of Supersonic. That's why we miss so many Supersonics. And now all of a sudden, you know, Radicates show up. Well I guess now is the time to try it. Let's try out that solar beam. I'm gonna take in sunlight even though we're in a basement. You're gonna use quick attack. I'm gonna hit you with my solar beam. It's critical hit, and it does lots of damage. Now we're gonna hit that Gust up, and that should be the end of Raticate. Actually, maybe not. Gust doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Nope, nope, still works. Yeah, I think that was a good move, getting, getting, getting those moves here. All right, so let's get out of here. We better not get swarmed by wild Pokemon, so I gotta shave about that. Ah, crap, gotta hit this thing to get the door back open, or else we're trapped in here for all eternity. All right, wait. What? 
Wait, did I press it twice? What did I do? The... Yes. Okay. Yeah, I must have hit it twice, or I don't know what I did right there. I screwed up. <laughs> Let's go back upstairs and out. Oh, God forsaken. Freaking criminy. What did I do wrong this time? Gotta go back downstairs now, suddenly, huh? Gotta go in. Oh, that's so lame. Gotta go all the way around here. Ah, repel wore off. It, it popped up the bottom of my screen. Repel's effect has worn off. And then instantly, instantly, coughing shows up. And out of the way here. We gotta go all the way around to hit this switch right here. Oh, God. <laughs> We're just being sw- Wait, why don't I use repel? I'm an idiot. He's not gonna let me. He's not gonna let me run. I bet. Oh, we're running. Okay. Let's hit up this repel. Let's grab here. Our, oh goodness gracious! All different doors opening and shutting on me. We should be able to get out of this godforsaken area now. This is ridiculous. This is the most annoying episode ever. It's the most annoying episode ever. But it will be okay because I may make it up to you guys by going on taking on that Cinnabar City gym. With all them fire types, and we're gonna get Vaporeon to knock everything out. Ooh, it's dark out. And this island is very small. Thank you, Rain Pokemon Resorts, full health. Thank you. Hope you see you again. And we're gonna put Vaporeon up here first. Alright. Alright. Vaporeon and me are gonna go take on the fire gym. Hello, sir. I was a thief, and then I went straight as a trainer. Okay. <laughs> Creepy. Oh god, look at you, and your, your smile, and your beard. He's weird. Got a big bad Growlithe, eh? What will I do? Oh yeah, you sir. And knock out every Pokemon in this gym in one hit. This is gonna be so easy. Oh, Vulpix, you say, huh? Tell him with that Surf. This is gonna be so easy. They pour on seriously. It's gonna burn through the entirety that is this gym. Oh, nine tails, huh? Oh, I'm so worried about that big bad nine tails. Oh god, what am I gonna do? Oh, you're gonna confuse me? Oh, too bad I still hit anyway. And super effective. And three moves, three knockouts, lots of XP. They pour on to be like level 40 by the time we're done with this gym. <laughs> Wait till we learn Hydro Pump. That'd be sick. Ding. Do you know how the do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? I don't know how 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 hot can it be? I, I do not know. And did this gym used to have like riddles? I guess one this gym had riddles. Am I thinking of something different here? Let me know in the comments. I think I'm pretty sure this gym had riddles, right? You have to answer these. Or like, no, not even riddles. Like you have to answer like trivia almost, right? I guess one that was the thing. Maybe, it, maybe, it, it seems like that was the thing, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Maybe Poran's gonna beast all the way up to freaking level 40, though. It's gonna be so easy. Look at this. There's not much. Ooh, that's a fast little nine tails you got going on there. And somehow I get burned. It's okay, I have a full heal. Alright, where's that full heal? There it is. Use Vaporeon. The name is Vaporeon. Wait, next time Vaporeon levels up, I'm gonna use a freaking rare candy on them just to boost them up even higher. Vaporeon's gonna be huge. I study Pokemon thoroughly. You can't win. I think I can, and I think I will. Because you're just gonna throw. Oh, look at you, all nerdy. It's a super nerd named Avery. And it's gonna have. Ooh, a Ponyta! Ponyta's are actually kinda cute. They're like little fire ponies that would burn the hell out of you for sitting on them. Wait, I, if I remember right, the, in the anime, the fire doesn't hurt you if it trusts you. Hey, Char Charmander! Uh, yeah, that, as silly as that sounds, the fire wouldn't hurt you if the Ponyta trusts you. Which is weird. But if the Ponyta doesn't like you, instead of bucking you off, it just like sets you on fire. And But, ah, crap. They pour on leveled up, but it's going to be a waste now, because now he's going to have more XP. You want to use your rare candy so it goes through an entire level for you. You don't want it to get you like, I don't know, four fifths of the way through a level. You want it to go through an entire level. That way you're, you know, um, I don't know, getting the most XP out of that rare candy. Maybe studies were insufficient. 
There are so many freaking people in this gym! This is redunculous! There's like three more trainers after this guy before I even... Oh, he's only got... Oh, that's a high level ponytail. But yeah, that's a ridiculous amount of trainers. There's three more people after I knock out this ponytail and probably one hit. Bam. <laughs> One thousand. Oh, I was two XP off of one thousand three hundred. I was two XP off of one three three seven XP for that guy. Well, hello, sir. My Vaporeon is single-handedly destroying your entire gym. What do you plan to do about it? Oh, okay. You're just gonna, you're just gonna grab your glasses and throw out a beast ass Rapidash. Awesome. Rapidash is awesome. That better not knock me out. Damn. That, you, that was my ace in the hole. Now I don't know what to do. We'll send out Primate. And we're going to rock a cross shop on him. Assuming that takedown doesn't destroy me. Hit that cross shop. Alright, not bad. Now let's hit another cross shop. Assuming Fire Spin doesn't knock me out. And down goes Rapidash. Good stuff. Good stuff, Primate. Good job, man. Good job. Took out that big bad Rapidash. You're, he answered the call of duty. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, I have a max revive. I didn't even know that. We're gonna use that on Vaporeon. Do I have an elixir still somewhere? Elixir. Elixir. That's a potion. What is this here? Max Ether. Yes. Vaporeon. Surf. Ha! So now Vaporeon has all his surfs back. So we don't have to even go to the Pokemon Center. I've been to many gyms, but this one best suits my style. What would that style be? Losing? The poop factory? Burglar Dusty. Yeah, we'll pick. And we're gonna use. I was hoping. I think Blaine has a Magmar. I'm sitting here thinking, like, we've seen the same kind of, like, we've seen Vulpixes and Growlithe and Ponytaws. That's like, oh, and the Charmander. We're not seeing, like, too much variety here at this gym. I think Blaine has a Magmar and an Arcanine. I think. I hope so, anyway. I'd like to see them both, honestly. Defeat him. I think, oh, I got, yes, I have one more person. If I defeat this guy, I should level up, I hope. And then I'll be able to use a Rare Candy, and then Vaporeon will be level 40 while taking on uh, Blaine here, which is pretty ridiculous. Vaporeon's getting retarded to be overleveled right now, but it's okay, because this gym was like designed for Vaporeon to just go in here and take everything out. So let's hit up this Surf on Growlithe. Not bad right there. 721, and we level up. And you're gonna send out Bullpix. Now, is it possible for me to use a rare candy in battle? I wanna find out. Items, okay, rare candy's not even showing up in that so yeah apparently we can't do that let's have a surf no no and in prison maybe i won't use rare candy on vaporeon yeah cause see now my xp has gone up i don't know we'll see i think vaporeon could probably take on blaine by himself without the help of any other pokemon let's go up here i am blaine the red hot leader of the cinnabar gym my fiery pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat they incinerate all challengers yeah you better have burn <laughs> You better burn you. You better have some revives for all the Pokemon I'm gonna knock out. Yeah. Trash talking Pokemon doesn't make any sense. It makes you sound stupid, doesn't it? Alright, level 42. It's a ground left. Doesn't matter. It's still a ground left. And Surf's probably gonna still give it the old one hit KO. Down he goes. Wow, 813. That's all. This is all the XP I'm getting. Come on, man. Let's get that Magmar out. Let's get that Arcanine. He's probably gonna have a Rapidash and an Arcanine. He's not going to have a Magmar, I don't think. Although he should. Yep, here comes Rapidash. Level 42, even. Let's hit up that Sir. Ooh, a Stomp. I think it's fast. And I flinched. That's not good. If you flinch again. Oh, fake Porygon. Quit your freaking flinching. Freaking big Porygon won't stop flinching. He sprang up. I don't know what that means. Him with a Surf. He used Bounce. What? That's a move. He missed. I hit Surf. And super effective. And Rapidash goes down. Ooh, 1700. Now we're talking. Here comes our camp. Level 47. Oh my god, that's such a retardly high level, and it's very fast, and it uses that big bad fire blast. But it doesn't matter. I know Surf. That's the first time Surf hasn't one hit knocked out anything yet. Let's hit up this super potion real quick on Vaporeon. 
Uh oh, bite. It's probably gonna hurt a lot. That didn't hurt as much as I thought it would. Let's hit that surf. Quit with your two moves in a row. Alright, we win. They pour around just single handedly, took out every single Pokemon in this gym. And is now level 40. And a half. Almost halfway through level 40 already. Yeah, I have burned down nothing. You've received the Volcano Badge. Yeah, yeah. We received TM38. It contains Fire Blast. It's the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water Pokemon. Well, how good is this Fire Blast? Because I happen to have a Charizard. Though you wouldn't know because I didn't have to use any Pokemon besides Vaporeon. Fire Blast. 120 damage. Ah, so this is like the Blizzard of fire moves. Fine by me. We'll get rid of Sunny Day. Screw Sunny Day. Stupid. Wee, we win though. Ah, oh, you can't run in here. You can't run. That stinks. Well, I guess we're okay though. We can make our way out of here. Repel's effect is wore off. Oh no. Whatever will we do? We don't have Repel while we're in a gym. Stupid, 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 stupid. Eh, stupid, eh. stupid eh. Finally, I can move. Hey, huh? If it isn't yours, let's plays. Look at me. It, look, it's me, Bill. Long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen, since we have met up here, how about spending some time with me? There's a, there's this little island on the, I can't, there's a big OK button right there, so I can't even see it. South called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there now. How about, do you feel like coming with me? Sure, all right then, let's go. I right, then, okay, am, am I being kidnapped right now? I think I'm being kidnapped. All right, so we're at one island. Here we are. This is one island. We, there are several islands around here, and this one is one of them. My friend Celio, I don't know how to pronounce that, sent the boat to fetch me here. He's in charge of the island's PC network from by his lonesome. <laughs> why Why am I telling you this now? Just let's go see Celio. All this reading out of nowhere. Jeez. The big Pokemon Center. The big old thingy. Hey there, Celio. Celio. Celio? Celio? I don't know. I can't believe you came out here. Well, absolutely. How's your research coming along? Oh, wait a sec. This is my buddy. He keeps saying his damn name. He's one dedicated PC maniac. This is Nero's Let's Play. He's a rising contender as the Pokemon champ. That's really impressive. I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. Anyways, I'm glad to meet you. Yeah, so bring me up to speed. How's your machine running? It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs on this island just can't link to your PC, Bill. Oh yeah? Okay, let's take a look-see. Hang on here, I think we can make it work. Ah, let, let me help you, okay? Here's Let's Plays, we can have a, there's a big okay button in the damn way here. Actually, can I get you to do me a favor? The island next to this one's called Tube Island. There's a game there. There's a guy that runs a game corner. I can't read right now at all, can you notice? He has this thing for rare rocks and gems. Uh, well, we keep in touch being fellow maniacs, so can you deliver this meteorite to him? All right. If you're going to Two Island, please take this. So it's a tri-pass that allows me to fancy around between the islands. One, two, and three. All right, and the town map. Jesus Christ, they stop talking. God, these guys want to shut up. Fucking like freaking kids in a candy store over there, that big freaking machine. I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon MMO playthrough. And if you did, remember to leave a rating where you guys will be it deserves. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.